In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the setup for your Browning trail cameras. You open the camera by flipping the switch on the side of the camera, opening it up. The ST card goes in a slot here on the bottom. You can eject it by pushing slightly. It'll pop out. You can pop it back in. If you need to eject the batteries to change them for whatever reason, you push this eject button here. Batteries pop out. Gotta give it a bit of a yank, but they'll come once they, once they pop out like this. And there you are. Push them back in much like you do the SD card and they'll go back in. All right. Flip the camera into the on position, and here um, you actually can get a preview of um, what the camera is actually looking at. And you've got to move kind of quickly. You'll notice that there's a countdown timer here. Um, this, uh, if you don't do anything for 30 seconds, the camera will automatically um, be put, um, turned on, and will start taking pictures. So what we'll do is we'll press this mode button, and all of our settings are going to be under this camera setup um, object in the menu. So we press this E button for enter to go into the camera setup. And then we're just going to go through, you can see down here we have eight pages um, of objects. We're going to go through each of these objects um, one at a time. First we'll check to make sure we've got the correct date and time. We can enter that by pressing this E button here. This shows that it's September 9th, 2021 at about 10.50 a.m. Close enough. So uh, this is all correct. We can just press the mode button to hop out of it. Under operation mode, we want the camera to be in trail cam mode. It's already in trail cam mode. You can press enter or um, the, the, the mode to, to pop back out. We'll just press enter to keep it in trail cam mode. Photo quality. We have uh, four choices of photo quality here, ranging from low, medium, high, to ultra. We don't need to be ultra, those are gonna be really big pictures, but high quality is good. So we'll highlight high quality, hit enter. We'll keep scrolling down. This will bring us to page two of eight. We can skip video length, we can skip video quality. Your photo should not, your, your camera should not be on video. We cannot submit videos to Wildlife Insights. They must be on photo. So don't worry about um, video length or video quality. We'll go to photo delay. This is the amount of time between bursts of the photos. Um, you can see we've got four pages worth of options here. Um, please keep it at one second so that it will take um, lots of pictures as long as there is an animal moving in front of the camera. So we'll uh, hit uh, highlight one second. We'll press E for enter. We'll keep pressing the down button to scroll to the next page. Multi-shot mode. This is where we get to tell it um, um, if we want bursts of photos, which indeed we do. Um, you can see that there's actually five pages of options here if you were to scroll through here. Um, uh, what we're gonna want is we're gonna want um, a three-shot rapid fire. So every time uh, an animal walks in front of the camera, what this will do is it'll take a burst of three photos, each taken two tenths of a second uh, apart. Temperature unit, we'll do this in uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Camera name, you can name your camera if you want to. It's not necessary, but if you press enter and go here, you can see that the default is camera one, but you can change that uh, if you like. I'm not gonna worry about changing that right now. Continue to scroll down to page four. Image data strip. This is just asking whether you want the, uh, the date, the time, the temperature, the barometric pressure to be displayed on the camera. The answer is yes. You need to have, um, at the very least, the date and the timestamp. Motion test. So this is um, uh, for when you guys will be recording um, the detection distance. You're gonna do this motion test, okay? So we'll press enter to go into motion test. By default, it's off. 
but we'll put the motion test on. Okay. What this is going to do is every time the camera detects movement, this red light's going to blink. Okay. So you'll put your camera in motion test mode. What you'll do is you'll close things up. You'll attach it to the tree, um, much like you would if, uh, when, you, when you leave. Um, and you'll do this test here. You'll walk in a zigzag manner like I showed in a previous uh, video. And when you stop detecting this red light, um, that's the maximum uh, detection distance from the camera. Um, and be sure to record that because those are data that you'll need to enter into Wildlife Insights. When you're done with the motion test, you can just press mode and then you'll see that the motion test is, is automatically turned off again, okay? Motion detection. We want long-range detection. We want to get as animals as far away from the camera as possible. Continue to page five. Battery type, this should be alkaline. Let's make sure that that's alkaline. Um, trigger speed, we're going to want fast trigger speed. We want the camera to take photos as soon as uh, a movement is detected. Default settings, don't worry about this. What this will do is um, revert the camera back to all the default settings, which we don't want. So we're gonna skip default settings. We're not gonna worry about time lapse, frequency, or period. Um, the uh, cameras will not be on time lapse mode. Um, so don't, don't worry about time lapse, frequency, or period. This delete all gives you the option to format your SD card and delete all the old pictures on it. It never hurts to do this, so you can delete all yes. Now, only do this at the beginning, of course, you don't wanna accidentally delete all your photos at, at the end. Infrared flash power. We want long range flash power. We wanna get pictures of animals from as far away as we can. We're not gonna have the camera in video mode, so we don't need to worry about smart IR video. Um, I'm not gonna worry about SD management. We're not worried about losing, uh, running out of space on our SD cards, so don't worry about SD management. Language, it's already in English, so we're good there. Don't worry about the capture timer. Um, the capture timer allows you to set the camera to take pictures only during certain times of the day. We want photos to be taken uh, 24 hours a day, so we're gonna leave the capture timer off. This is firmware upgrade. Don't worry about this. Um, um, you should be working with the latest software in these um, already. Okay, and what brings us back to page um, one of eight. And so we're good to go um, with, with putting our camera out there. We'll press mode again now to get back to the main menu. We have three objects here. Camera setup we just did. Playback, so you can do this when you pick your game cameras up. This will give you, um, in the screen here, a little preview of what you guys saw. And then when you guys are ready to set your camera, go to home screen. Okay. Again, this is going to give you a preview of what the pictures are actually going to look like from the camera. Um, you can see that it's in trail cam mode, so it's going to take pictures of moving animals. 12 megapixel resolution. Um, three bursts at a fast trigger speed. I'm gonna pop, I wanna, uh, I, I don't want this countdown timer to go to zero, okay? So we're just gonna play around with some things um, so that we can reset that timer. We're gonna go back to the home screen. Okay, we've reset that timer. This is the countdown timer. When that reaches zero, the camera will be armed and will start taking photos. This is your battery life. You want this to be greater than 50%. If it's less than 50%, let me know. I'll get you fresh batteries. This is the number of photographs that are on the SD card, zero, out of a potential of 46,349. This is just me resetting the countdown timer. Okay. At this point, the camera's ready to go. So when you've got that countdown timer going, you can go ahead and close it, lock it on the tree, and don't forget when you're done to wave hi to the camera. 
and be on your way.